is Sharp and Smart, our Kiwi visitor who's had a very fruitful trip previously when he's come to visit us in Sydney. But I think the biggest change that I've seen in him is that he's really gone from a boy to a man. He's filled out so much. He's furnished. He's just, you can see all of himself has just filled out across here as well, particularly. So very much looking forward to seeing him today. He's travelled across in wonderful order. The team are really happy with him and it's great to have him back. Righto, four Kiwis versus the east coast of Australia. I think the Kiwis might have us done here. Sharp and smart, he's so tough. Brave win again in the New Zealand derby. He was so strong winning the spring champion back in the spring. I've got to lean with the Kiwi there, sharp and smart. I thought the best of the Australians could be elliptical, but a lot of respect for the other Kiwis, in particular, full of sincerity and Mark Twain. Great derby coming up. They're in the yard. This mounting yard is brought to you by Harvey Norman for all your furniture, bedding and electrical. 2400 metres, group one for the staying three-year-olds. Sharp and smart, number one, Hugh Bowman for Graham and Debbie Rogerson. Yeah, well, he's had a month since the derby, and what's Bowman going to do from barrier 17 today? I don't know, uh, but he has been, he does usually does the right thing. He's got the form on the board without a doubt. It won't be easy from the draw, but that class will take him a long, long way, and he looks very bright, I must say. Yeah, he's going to need a touch of luck from that barrier, Ronnie, but gee, he's a good-looking horse. He's really well put together. He's muscle structure's unreal. He just looks really focused here today. Number two, Manzois, who beat him down south. Michael D and Chris Waller. Yep, um, he just had a, he's missed a run this preparation, so that, that would have been compensated with it, probably an extra gallop at home, but um, he, he, like you said, he did beat Sharp and Smart three starts back now in the Victoria Derby and uh, has the Waller timing about him, and um, yeah, he's got some nice soft form there as well. It was a soft seven when he won the Vic Derby, first try on the heavy. Yeah, I think the big plus is the blinkers going on today. Um, I think he's going to really focus up. Um, I didn't mind his run last time out. Um, he probably needs to lift a little bit, but I do like the addition of the blinkers. Elliptical number three, Mark Zara for Anthony and Sam Freeman. Well, talking about blinkers, I think he, when they took him off him the other day, he didn't know where he was. He, his wheels were spinning when they sprinted for home. So I'm anticipating with those blinkers back on him today, he might be a different horse. And um, you go back to the champion stakes, he was he was excellent uh, in the uh, in the spring last year and I think he's set for a peak performance. Yeah, he lost the bridle last time out at probably about the six, 700 metre mark and they just got away from him. He worked at the line okay but I, I totally agree. The blinker's going back and I think it's going to be a big plus. Pericles, McDonald and Cummings. Yeah, look, he's a different horse today. Uh, butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. He's he's laid back, he's relaxed, he's not a drop of sweat on him so we'll just put it down to the heath there last time and maybe being one run short. So he's got acceptable heavy track form and he He's right in the picture here. He's an absolutely, totally different horse here today. He's handled himself really, really well. I was expecting to get a little bit excited after watching him there at Rose Hill last time out, but he's, he's, yeah, he's on his best behaviour today. Williamsburg, Maloney on for riding and Alexia. Well, he loves Ramwick. He loves it wet. He's been ticking along nicely for this, and if he runs the distance out, he's right there. I think he gets the ideal run too, Ronnie. Um, he's drawn out a little bit, but I just think where they've been coming, um, I, I think it's going to suit him down to the ground. Andalus, another Kiwi, Purton on for Stephen Marsh. Well, he was 100 to 1 in the derby and he ran boldly, beaten half a length by Sharp and Smart, going down fighting, I must say. He gets Purton, which has to be a plus. Yeah, I really like this horse. He walked in the enclosure, he's really fit, really focused, um, and he's going to get the absolute dream run not far from the speed. Full of sincerity, Damien Lane, Andrew Forsman. I thought he was okay last week, looking a real stayer. So he's a touch over the odds here because uh, um, he has one on the, one for one on the heavy track and he'll outstay most here. Going to need luck from that gate, I think. Japanese Emperor, Ben Mellon, Mike Moroni. Yeah, I'm always wary of Mike in these derbies and uh, he certainly deserves respect. He's been a real good market move all week, including today. So I think we should uh, monitor, uh, respect that market move. Get back horse. Um, it's going to need a little bit of luck from that gate getting through, I think. Straw on the one, obviously. But um, he's a get back horse, but he needs a little bit of tempo on. If he gets the tempo, this horse will be really calm and I'm like. Roger James and Robert Wellwood are trying to win back to back Group 1 wins here in Sydney after Prowess last week. They've got Mark Twain, Karen McAvoy. Yep, these two wins have been on the soft. He appears a likely type for this race. I love his trial in the New Zealand derby, so I'm hoping to get pressure here, and he might. I think he might be the last man's 
outstanding. So he can stay. There's no doubt about his staying prowess. Yeah, he's a nice enough horse. It sets up really, really well. Kieran McAvoy goes on board uh, first time on the horse, but he would have done a little tame work and worked this horse out. But yeah, I, I think he just sets up well. Swazero, Joe Marrera for Bussardon and Young. Hasn't done too much wrong in this preparation. He makes, makes his own luck on top of the speed and he's sure to give a sight for a while. Yeah, he looks the likely leader in the race. Um, I didn't mind his run down there at the valley. He led and obviously held them off until the last last couple of strides, but gets his chance here today. Uh, last week's upset winner, Tapel Doodle Doo. Reese Jones, Kerry Taplin. Yeah, well, he was a surprise winner, but he showed them up outstaying them. I just need to see him do it again. Brett Preble, Liam Howley. Look, he had no room to move in that Australian Cup last week, uh, where Wish Cage Cadian won, and that form blends in with the All Star Mile. So. I want to be forgiving against our older horses that wait for age last start, and I wouldn't treat him too lightly. Just going to need a touch of luck from that Barry. He's drawn quite awkward. Gay Waterhouse has never won this race. She's got a major bill here with Adrian Bott, Tim Clark in the saddle. Well, I was doubting his staying ability last week, but he went out hard and he was still chipping away there at the finish. But it's, he's still, he's untried past 2,000 metres. Yeah, I think if he gets to the front and can control this race, um, I think this horse is in with a bit of a chance. I thought his run was terrific at Rose Hill. He stuck to his guns. He was, he was there to be beaten, and he was, but he, I, I thought he would have faded a lot earlier. High approach, Jordan Childs, Archie Alexander. Hasn't had a lot go right this prep, but this is a tougher race. Stroke of luck, Tommy Marquand on for John O'Shea. Well, unlucky, unlucky last week, we all know that, finding plenty of dead, dead ends, so he should back up well here. Um, if you think that Tullock form is OK, he'd be uh, your pick out of that race. Yeah, oh, he's a good thing beaten last time out, and it was a soft run in the end. He didn't get much room, and... Um, I reckon if he had got the room, he would have exploded. He's maps really well. Uh, Tommy Markwin's on board. He's in form. So I think this horse will run a cheeky race today. Chevelle Savant. Yeah. Johnny Allen, Maren Eustace. He's in the right yard, but just inexperienced, just out of maiden class. He'll get the right run from a soft gate. Domingo. Brent Navdella, John O'Shea. Nice horse on the, ri uh, on the rise, but gets here quickly. Yeah, I don't think today. He's a nice win last time out at Wong over the 2100, but this is a bit of a jump. And yeah, number 18 is Twigman. Paul Shaler's the trainer. Luke Dippman's the rider. His famous father, Mick Dippman, won this race three times with naturalism, research, and Strawberry Road. Here's the go. son I'm... of a gun, Luke, on board Twigman. Yeah, big throw at the stumps out of a benchmark 58 at Port Macquarie. He can stay, the, the, the positive with him. All right, it's time to get our picks of the yard as they leave the theatre of the horse. The horses are making their way down through the tunnel for our final group one of the day. The PJ Bill to follow the derby. The crowd follows the horses down the tunnel and out onto the course proper. They start to emerge. The barrier is set up right in front of the wink stand, about 200 metres from the winning post. A great derby coming up here at Royal Ramwick. Over to you, Chantel. All right, Corey. Um, I swapped and changed about yeah. four different times. How did you go? I did exactly the same, but I ended up setting on sharp and smart. I just think he's a quality racehorse. He's going to need a bit of luck from that barrier. It's not a, it's not a good draw, but uh, if he gets the luck, he'll definitely be really, really hard to hold out. Number one, sharp and smart. I'm with Manzois. Um, it was Williamsburg there for a while. It was Manzois, and I'm, I'm going to stick with Manzois. I just think third up now, he's right at his prime. Um, prime. I know he missed that run, but I thought he looked great. So Manzois and sharp and smart, the two that we hope we'll find out the finish. I am 9, 1, 4 and 3. I'm with Mark Twain here. Hopefully he get a bit of pressure up in this race and he gets a nice blend into it, gets relaxed early. Hopefully he can be in front of half a dozen. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. And I think he's going to be very strong late here. Sharp and smart is obviously the form horse. He's yet to run a bad race in his whole career. Pericles has paraded much better here today. Can he stay? I suppose we find out now. An elliptical will go much better with his blinkers back on. Nine, one, four, and three, Glenn. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Only three horses under thirteen dollars here. Sharp and Smart's our favourite. Well, he's been as short as three twenty, as long as three eighty, and he's now at three dollars and seventy cents. He's favourite over Pericles, uh, who was as short as three ninety, now at four forty, which is his best price all day, and in fact, his best price for a few days. Uh, only one other runner under thirteen dollars, and that's Mark Twain, who went up nine fifty this morning, is now eight fifty. On the next line of betting is Japanese Emperor, very very steady. 
throughout the day, only moving between, say, 13 and 14, currently a $13 chance. Elliptical has been 13 out to 16. Full of sincerity, uh, well, as much as 23 is now 17. Williamsburg, as much as $34 is now uh, $18. So that's a significant firm today, probably with the wet track with his good record on the heavy. Uh, Manzois is out to 19 from 15. Andalus uh, is uh, 19, got into 17, back out to 21. Stroke of Luck has been 17 out to 23. Virtuous Circle, uh, who was a $31 chance this morning, is now at $23. Major Beal at $41, and he's been around that mark all day. Suzuro, 34 out to 41. Domingo, 61 out to 81. And all other runners are triple figures. The favourite standing there with Huey Bowman in the saddle, sharp and smart, just goes out to $3.80 now as Pericles stays $4.40 and Mark Twain into a $7 chance. OK, uh, Terry Henderson with a couple of uh, runners in ownership here with different trainers. Terry, full of sincerity, You're getting a lot of good luck wishes here as you stand on the fence. Full of sincerity, one of yours, trained by Andrew Forsman. Was the team happy with his run in the Tullock? Yes, very happy. Um, obviously, it was a prep run for here. He got back a little bit, but he finished it off well, ran right through the line, and Nash, uh, Nash was very complimentary. What about your other runner with Roger James and Robert Wellwood? Mark Twain, who is a eye-catcher in the Derby in New Zealand. Very untapped horse. He's only had those five starts. Um, look, I think he's got a bit of brilliance. Um, not sure how the track will suit him today, but if he can jump well, just stay on the outside. He'll uh, take off from the 800 and uh, it'll be a true staying test for him and he'll be there at the thing. The you'd, you'd be hoping the Kiwis could handle this sort of going, wouldn't you? Okay, very In much. the old days they would. <laughs> and it's happened before. <laughs> um, Duff wants to know about Tom the second. Where's he? He ran last night. He ran a good six at Dundalk. He's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He's happy. Good luck. Well, of course, he could win a derby here, but apart from Doremus, his famous horse, Tom Melbourne. So over behind the gates, Manzois, he's a derby winner in his own right. Sharp and Smart is a Group 1 winner here in Sydney of the Spring Champion Stakes. Held off elliptical that day. And it's a real Australasian derby here today with Australia and New Zealand going head to head. Ali's at the gates. Well, the Kiwis are really coming for us here, Greg, and Sharp and Smart is the one that they're looking for. He's just behind me at the moment. I saw him canter past, and he is in A1 condition. He's just furnished since the last time I saw him out here in Australia. And he's relaxed, too. He can be a bit of a buzzy horse, but he's really well relaxed behind me at the moment. And there's a few others that I want to get my eye on. They're just coming over to us now. One of those is Elliptical, who can be a little bit fresh when he gets out here. So he's a lot more settled today, which is what you like to see. Manzois has come on beautifully, so I can see why Shani had him on top and I'm just trying to get a look at Mark Twain and how he's come over because he's the one who was probably a little bit of a question mark but it looks like he's done um, everything right so far now that he's come out here I don't really have a knock on any of them it was Pericles who I wanted to see as well uh, he's just a little bit further away from me at the moment but the crowd is electric it finally feels like they've all come out uh, of the stands and I can see them all standing up in the wink stand cheering them on and I think it changes the attitude of the horses it changes the whole vibe out here the rain stopped before the TJ Smith and then people that you didn't think were here all came out to participate in the atmosphere. Ramwick, big crowd, and thank God that rain went away. But it has done the damage, and we're on a heavy nine, which stuff makes it a real, real staying test out there today. Yeah, what's going to happen up front here? Does Major Bill roll along? Does Cesuro roll along? Um, I can't see too much else there. Pericles looks to get the right run. Stroke of luck, you'd expect to be pushing a little forward from that mid draw there. So I don't know what happens, how quick they go here. There's potential to roll along or there's potential to slow up. And then Terry Henderson telling us that it's going to be well and truly on from the 800. So we're waiting for these horses to move in. Domingo goes up. Waiting for Major Beal to come up, trying to give Gay and Adrian their first derby. It's amazing. Gay's won every race on the calendar. A derby has eluded her. The Australian Derby's eluded Chris Waller and James Cummings, although early in his career, he hasn't won a Derby either. And they're all there with big chances this year. 
three of our major stables. Rodgie's been here before. He won it with Ebony Grove in 97. He's got the, the New Zealand favourite, sharp and smart. And Roger James, although he hasn't won an Australian derby, he's won four New Zealand derbies and a Queensland derby. He's become a derby king. And Johnny Allen, well, is a rider. He's won 11. And he's on Cheval Savant. That's 11 around Australia. Here's Darren Flindell for the Australian Derby. Race 9 at Royal Randwick. Lewis goes in. Virtuous Circle is one of the last to move up into the gates. So Sharp and Smart's right out there in stall 17. Virtuous Circle's drawn the outside moving in. And Stroke of Luck is the other. Stand by. It's derby time here at Randwick. The three rolls are ready to go. The gates are back now and the big field is off and racing. Manzoy's taken back with Virtuous Circle. Williamsburg set of stalls jumped out well. Andalus handily in the stride together with Pericles. Domingo going forward. Japanese Emperor is trying to push right up along the inside running rail. Followed by Elliptical. Then came Major Bill in the first half of the field from Stroke of Luck. Then Cheval Savant from Suzuro. Uh, further back to Tapple Doodle Doo. Just a bit wide, full of sincerity from Twigman. Then came High Approach. Now the favourite is fourth last, Sharp and Smart in a three-wide position. In advance of Mark Twain, Manzois, and Virtuous Circle is the last one. Domingo races to the lead now. Out by a length or so to Major Bill, tugging along in second. Williamsburg drops the head in third on the inside of Andalus. Pericles, three back the paint, followed by Elliptical. Stroke of Luck stranded three wide, trying to go forward. At least he's getting plenty of of air today, stroke of luck. Then Japanese Emperor in between runners to zero, followed by Fuller Sincerity there on the white cap, just in advance of Tapple Doodle Doo, Cheval Savant back on the rails. Then came the favourite Sharp and Smart from Twigman, high approach, Virtuous Circle trying to improve its position from Manzois and Mark Twain in the blue cap is last of all of the derby field, goes down the back section of the course. 1300 metres to run, Domingo in front by a half length to Major Peel. Williamsburg still switched off in third position on the inside of Andalus and Stroke of Luck goes to fifth now in advance of Pericles then came Elliptical, wider out full of sincerity and Mark Twain takes off a long way from home and Bowman gets under his back on Sharp and Smart, Manzois got going as well so a bit of a shuffle up here it's Domingo leading down the side from Major Beal, Andalus pulls three wide Stroke of Luck four wide, Mark Twain, Manzois deeper out trying to come into the race, Williamsburg back on the fence from Pericles, Elliptical Sharp and smarts out pretty deep but plenty of cover with Virtuous Circle. Uh, further back then to Japanese Emperor. High approach Tapple Doodle Doo. Twigman and Cheval Savant's last of a bunching field. Major Bill races to the lead now from Mandela's second stroke of luck third. Then Mark Twain from Manzois. Looping the field is Virtuous Circle and Sharp and Smart still three lengths away. Major Bill leads at the 300 metres from Mandela's and Virtuous Circle chiming in. Clear from stroke of luck. Sharp and Smart still three lengths away. Major Bill in front of Virtuous Circle. Virtuous Circle moving up to Major Bill. Major Bill still kicking from Virtuous Circle. Major Bill lifting in the derby and Major Bill too good. Beat Virtuous Circle. Suzuro rattling home into third. Sharp and Smart fourth followed by High Approach. Then came Elliptical from Stroke of Luck Andalus. Twink then Tapple Doodle Doo that was next followed in by Mark Twain full of sincerity. Pericles in the second half of the field from Japanese Emperor Williamsburg, Domingo Cheval Savant and Manzois has finished near last Gay has won her derby the race that has eluded our first lady has been taken out by May Thanks away. Major Bill in front of Virtuous Circle. Virtuous Circle moving up to Major Bill. Major Bill still kicking from Virtuous Circle. Major Bill lifting in the derby and Major Bill too good. Beat Virtuous Circle. Suzuro rattling home into third. Sharp and smart fourth. Followed by high approach. Then came Elliptical from Stroke of Luck Andalus. Twink then a tapple doodle doo that was next. Followed in by Mark Twain full of sincerity. Away. Major Bill in front of Virtuous Circle. Virtuous Circle moving up to Major Bill. Major Bill still kicking from Virtuous Circle. Major Bill lifting in the derby and Major Bill too good. Beat Virtuous
a circle. Suzuro rattling home into third. Sharp and smart fourth, followed by high approach. Then came Elliptical from Stroke of Luck, Andalus. Twink then a tapple, doodle doo that was next, followed in by Mark Twain, full of sincerity. Pericles in the second half of the field from Japanese Emperor Williamsburg, Domingo Cheval Savant, and Manzois has finished near last.